In this video, I'm going to show you how I paint Grimdark Tyranids. Okay, so we're going to paint this Hormigaunt. It's a basic Tyranid model, good for what we're going to show you. We're going to start off priming the model in black. And then we're going to use Vallejo Gamer Red Terracotta to block in some of the skin tones. This is going to be our sort of uh, undercoat layer, so only a small part of this will be showing through. If you haven't got an airbrush, you can always dry brush this on. Then we're going to give a zenithal coat of Vallejo Game Air Bone White. And we're going to hit the whole model with this. Then we're going to use Citadel Caraberg Crimson. Use this to hit any joints or like the teeth, maybe the back of the head. Um, yeah, basically any areas where parts meet. If you haven't got an airbrush, you could glaze this in. Re-highlight some of the middle of um, the limb sections and the head with Vallejo Game Air Bone White. Then we're going to paint in the carapace. Um, I'm using an airbrush and using the Vallejo Model Air Black. I'm trying to sort of hit the, the center of the carapace and leave the edges. If you haven't got an airbrush or you don't feel confident using it on this, uh, you can just paint these black, it's not a problem at all. Try and avoid the edges though. Then we're going to go in with the Black Templar Contrast Paint and we're going to paint in those edges and sort of glaze into the middle of the uh, carapace armor sections. Then we're going to use Volupus Pink Contrast Paint. I'm going to paint in all the joints and the little, um, I suppose they're like exposed muscular bits, I'm not really sure. And we're also going to recess shade in between any armor sections and the skin and any little sort of like divots or things like that. So at this point, the model is pretty much like tabletop ready, uh, but we're going to take it a few steps further. So to add some interesting um, sort of texture to the model, we're going to hit the whole model with some gloss varnish. And then we're going to come in with our streaking grime and we're going to give it a coat all over the whole model. Uh, I use an airbrush here. If you don't want to use an airbrush, you can just use a paintbrush. Then we're going to use the MIG Odorless Thinner uh, with a cotton bud, and we're going to reduce down the streaking grime. So we just basically load up the cotton bud and roll it over the model and this will reduce the streak and grind down. After that we're going to come in with a clean uh, cotton bud and we're just going to roll this over the model to wick up any excess. So this leaves behind a, a nice grimy residue but still cleans up most of the model so you can see the, the details and the paint colours we've used underneath. Uh, to add some interest to the carapace, we're going to use Dark Streaking Grime from MIG and we're just going to pat this onto the carapace all over and then we're going to use a cotton bud and just roll it over it. It just adds like a mottled, um, slight subtle mottled effect to the, the carapace. And then we're going to use some AK Dark Earth deposits and just put some spots on there. Again, this just adds some variation into the carapace. Next, we're going to panel line of the model using Citadel Null Oil. So I'm using this really extra thin brush and we're just basically going to go over and line any joints between armor plates and joints between skin. To redefine the uh, the muscular sections we're going to come in with the Vlupus pink again and just pop that back in. We're going to use Shabti bone for the teeth. I'm going to very carefully use Vallejo Game Colour Bone White to paint the eye. And then for the base, uh, we're going to use Vallejo European Mud with some little scale model bricks. Hit that with some dark streaking grime and then spray some dark streaking grime over the, the whole base and the lower legs of the model. 
followed with some cursed soil. Last thing, clean up the rim of the base. Once that's dried, paint it black. There we have it. This is our Tyramid model. I think this is a really quick and easy paint scheme, so it's a good one to use for a whole army. Um, you don't have to go all the way to this stage, so if you did want to dial it back a bit, you could do. And yeah, I think it's a cool little scheme to, uh, to paint up an army with. I hope you enjoyed the video, guys. If you did, please give it a like and subscribe to the channel. It really helps. It uh, means a lot to me. And hopefully see you next time. Thanks very much. Bye.